Hey what's up guys, I'm Vince and welcome back to Automation of Car Kami Tycoon Game. Today we are building a car based on a challenge that the homie Krom has set out for us. So, basically we are building near modern sports cars with a little bit of a twist. They're gonna be 2010 model year, 50,000 money's limit, no slicks, 145 tire width. For skinny tires, like, my Sentra has 195s to put that in perspective there. And we can't have less than 200 horsepower. So basically what I'm seeing here is we're going to have to build like a BRZ or something, something kind of low powered, a little bit light, but good handling so we can win all the challenges and be the swag person of the day. First for panel material, we have a $50,000 like a money's limit, but I'm going to skimp out on some other parts of the car to keep the cost down, but I'm going with partial aluminum panels and then monocoque chassis. And we're going to go light HS steel, and it's going to be front longitudinal. We're going to have a uh, boxer four in here, probably. We're going to go double wishbone and push rod, just the best stuff we can have. We want to handle good. We're going to slap a BRZ clone engine in here. Wait, I didn't even pick what kind of engine I want yet. What? There we go. Something went weird there. That was very strange. So we're going to go with a boxer four. I'm going to go with a, yeah, just, I guess we can go with this cast. And it's going to be a two liter. We're not going to do very much to it. Four valves per cylinder. I guess we're going to have an aluminum head just so we can have even more head gasket issues than Subaru does. And then on to crank, I'm going to go with cast. I'm just going to go with full cast right now. We'll make things better if we need to, which we probably will. I'm going to go with a harmonic dampener and I'm going to put a few pounds on there and a little bit into the quality. Hopefully that doesn't drive the prices up too much. We're going to go with no turbo. I'm pretty sure I can make 200 horsepower out of a naturally aspirated boxer, so... We're going to go with direct injection per cylinder with a performance mid intake. Emphasis on the mid since it's a boxer engine. Aha, get offended Subaru people. Yeah, I see you holding your vape in your hand. What's up, man? And for fuel, we're going with just normal premium gas. A little bit of lean burn there. One into the quality. We're going to go with cast, headers, dual exhaust, two and a quarter inch exhaust size. And for catalytic converter, I guess we got to have a cat in here because it's a 2010 vehicle so why not and then we're gonna go reverse flow and baffled second mufflers and we make 150 horsepower basically stock I, I don't know what i'm saying stock the car's gonna stay stock we need a little bit of more header all right we're revving a little high so i'm gonna go back and mess with the bottom end here we're gonna go with some hyper eutectic cast pistons and some forged light con rods there it is, 200 horsepower. Just had to make the engine a little bit bigger. It is now a 2.1, but who's gonna complain about a little bit more displacement? I'm no, I, I was about to say I know I'm not. I, why am I stumbling over my words, man? I know I'm not the one out here complaining about extra displacement because you know what you know what they say, and also what I say. There's no replacement for displacement. Real shit. Looking at you, Dodge. I don't know what they're doing, man. I just saw the new Charger Daytona reveal today, and it's just. Man, I don't know. It's, uh, I, maybe, I might make a video about me just talking about that whole situation and what Dodge is doing. Stay tuned. Anyways, let's see how this engine runs. Let's give it a pull here. Yeah, it sounds like a boxer Subaru moment. Let's... I have a little bit more intake sportiness. Yeah, that's good. Alright, so there's our engine and stuff. This is the body we're going to use. I'm going to morph it to make it look less like a Miata and more like a BRZ kind of thing. So here we go. Drive type, we're going to go rear wheel drive. It's going to be a six speed manual. Top speed of 168, it says so far. Do I want to go with a limited slip differential? I think yes, just so I can drift around everybody when we eventually do this challenge in BMP. So yeah, stay tuned for that as well. Um, let's just go with a, just a normal, not a race limit slip. Let's just go with a normal one, clutched one. And we're going to go with radial sports compound tires because they didn't say we couldn't use sports compound tires. And then we're going to go all the way down to 145 section tires i mean it could be worse we're only making 200 horsepower that's not bad you know you probably i probably won't crash that much with only 200 horsepower let's go down 145 square setup <laughs> look at that giant 
Miata fenders compared to my tires here. All right, there we go. We got a square setup. We're going to go with alloy rims because we got to, you know, keep the weight down a little bit. And we're going to go with three piston vented discs in the front and two piston in the rear and a tiny bit of a sports tune on the brakes and what we're going to put a little bit more in the quality. We don't really got much tire to stop us. Not that we're going to be going that fast. I don't think this thing's that fast and no under tray. We're not going to go with any cooling flaps or anything like that, but I am going to put quite a bit of quality here into the uh, aerodynamics because it makes the car way faster. It's actually very surprising and we're not going to have any seats. That's the reason this is the 2SR, but 2 means how many seats it has. S means sports and R is R because race car, I guess, because this is a race car. Can't you tell? Anyways, we're going to go with a sport premium infotainment system. And then head over on here, we're gonna go with hydraulic rack and pinion steering. All we need is ABS, standard tent safety, quality doesn't matter, I'm probably gonna lower it just so it's cheaper. And then we're gonna make it as light as possible, 22, almost 2300 pounds, that's not bad. Weighs as much as a Ford Ranger, fun fact. We're gonna put some sport springs on here, and actually with 200 horsepower in our car that's relatively light like this, I don't even think we need that, we're just gonna keep costs down if, we, uh, if it's close to being expensive. Normal dampers. I know these ones are like a little more sportiness, so why not? And then sway bars. Probably need those too, but I'm not going with them. And then we're going to put it on a sport preset. I will mess with it just a little bit. Oh man, look at that roll angle. We got to get some sway bar situation here. Yeah. I want the front to be a little bit more stiff than the back so you can kind of get it to, you know, roll a little bit into the corner. Because that's fun. It's always fun to do that. And we're going to have to lower it too, because I, I don't know what's up. What's up with this monster truck fitment, man? There we go. It's still monster truck fitment. Come on, get lower than that. There we go. We definitely have some things to mess with. Car understeer. All right, and here it is, the 2010 Nindai S2R, SR2, SRR, 2R, or whatever I called this thing, and it's pretty cool. Look at this. It got like a, kind of like a TVR color on it. It's got definitely Subaru, like modern Subaru rear end vibes. It's got a little bit of like a shooting brake situation there. It's got the rims and the wheels. I know, they don't call them wheels. They don't call them rims, they're wheels. I know, bro, just, just shut up, bro. Just, just. Oh, by the way. If you join my membership, top tier galactic homie size, you get a really rare shirt that even I don't have. So, you know, go do that. You get extra things. It says everything that you get. You get a lot of things. I'm going to slap my mic with my hand. I'm really a professional YouTuber, by the way. I know what I'm doing. All right, so here we are in Beaming G with the Nindai SR... S2R, not SR2. SR2 would have been sounding too cool. It would have been proper. Okay, so don't mind what's happening. My controller doesn't work. Come on, man. Okay, so it turns out my controller is going to be completely useless. So we're going keyboard again. Start this bad boy up and hear it. Yeah, it's, it's pink or purple. I don't know. Let's see if the lights work. Yep, they work. 
cool. Oh. Why are they white? I'm not even gonna ask about it. The sea. Oh, don't mind this situation happening over there. I gotta sneeze! <coughs> Sorry, I just got hit by a sneeze attack. Let's continue. We're gonna drive. Burnouts? Easy. Donuts? Easy. Yeah! All 200 horsepower going crazy right now. Actually, uh, drives pretty good so far. A little bit vibrating, as you can see. Well, look at this interior I lovingly crafted. Yeah. Ooh, there's a wall. We got a shifter, though. So that's cool. And we get some screens. Got some AC vents. Got everything you need, man. And there's top gear right there, I think. Yeah, six. Oh, I didn't steer enough. We're dead. Yep. That looks fun. Dead as hell. Let's spawn some traffic in. We're going to cut up a little bit here. Oh, the other guy stopped moving. Nice. Yeah, this is, uh, this is like the best made Beam and G mod recently, so... I want to destroy it a little bit. Look, it's got an actual convertible roof. You can rip it off. I love abusing NB Miatas. Or ND. Is this an ND? This is an, not an NB. This is an ND. The reason I spawned this car in is because it's kind of like the same vibe. I, even, I, I think this one also has a boxer engine. Let's see. Let's just go in here. Shit, I can't tell what's happening. That, that was all, all messed up. No, no, it's escaping! It's escaping! It's running from me! Oh, there it goes. Well, it's done now. Oh, I can't. Let me rip the hood off. I want to see... Dude, I just want to see the engine, bro. Where? Wait, that's not even the hood pop release button. Yeah, look. Okay, there we go. Took a while for me to show you this, but yeah, this is also a boxer engine, so kind of the same car. Unintentionally built the same car. And mine does better in a car crash, so that's how you know I'm just better in general. Alright. Police are already after me. It's time to cut up. I think I scraped them a little bit. We're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, you're slow, nerd. Slow. Get good. Just cutting to be a nuisance. No reason to actually do it. It's almost like I'm talking about real life right now. Whoa! Man, these cops ain't shit. They're not doing nothing. They're trying to pull over Grandma back there. Oh, my tire, dude. No! My tire, dude. Come on, bro. How could you do that to me? You know what? It was you, right? ECKI series? Mm. Yeah. That's what happens. You're not gonna catch me either. Huh. What's up? You too. Huh. Wait, hold on. Dude. Huh. Oh, I just ripped something off. Oh no! The constabulary! Why'd I say that, dude? What am I, British or something? Gross. Okay, we gotta respond to whip. Whip is broken. We're going this way now. I hate driving with keyboard in this game, it's so weird. Oh, this is why! Oh, I'm dead! Okay, I think it's about time to take this to the track. Hold on, I'm gonna mess with these guys a little bit more. I'm gonna mess with you. Uh, uh, yeah! Get ripped off your frame! Where'd the body go? Hello? Where? Yo, where did the body even end up? Hold on, we gotta go on a mission real quick. Where did? Where did it go? Am I blind? I ripped it. It went that way. Uh, hello. Body of Grand Marshal. Where are you at? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, check that out. 
This dude's coming down the road like the fuck is happening over here? Oh! Oh, that makes sense because this isn't like actually the car, so bro just drove through it. How about... Nice. I want, I want your wheel, bro. Get... Okay, track time. I'm gonna stop getting distracted. Alright, because my controller is broken for some inexplicable reason... I, I probably dropped it or something, who knows. I got my wheel set up right now. So if you hear me like bonking around and stuff, or my mic quality is extremely bad... I'm, I'm sorry, yo. So, we're, we're just gonna get this going. Start driving. Start driving. My shifter isn't working! It's always something. My shifter wasn't working. Okay, coming into the second corner. I drop down into second. I don't have any wheel feedback right now, and my shifter isn't working, so I'm using the paddles with clutch. Very normal. Okay, our brakes are pretty good. I'm gonna go brake around the one, downshift twice. It's a little bit floaty. Just a little bit. Oh, I clutch kicked that shit. Uh, that wasn't a clutch kick, that was heel toe downshift, bro. What am I talking about? Alright, onto the back straight. Up to a whole hundred miles an hour. Down into third. Down into second. Pouring it out of the corner. Into third. Round the weird chicane situation. Dipping into the sand a little bit. And then for this corner, I think we can kind of slide it. Oh, we're gonna understeer a little bit. And there it is, a 139.7. Wow! That's our four fastest. Okay, what went faster? The HHR went faster? And then the, the Tesla thing went faster, and then of course the Marini T3, which is last video, went faster. Okay. Oh, that makes sense to me, man. I, I guess. Can I respawn? Yeah, I can. I tried to shift with my shifter again, and it's broken, so. So yeah, this car's actually pretty good. It drives nice. I the only downside is is my driving is pretty shitty. So you never know, man. Anyways, until next time, I am Vins. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna fix my stupid shifter because it's not working. And that's why you don't go to takeovers, kids. Okay, bye.